Welcome to Hare Krishna News. Our news for today is ISKCON India celebrates 50th anniversary of Srila Prabhupada's leaving for the US. ISKCON is ramping up for its mega 50th anniversary celebrations with events to be held all over the world throughout the year 2016. These will commemorate the day founder Acharya Srila Prabhupada officially registered the society in New York on July 11, 1966. But ISKCON will warm up for that by celebrating another 50th in 2015. They will commemorate both Prabhupada's leaving Kolkata on the steamship Jaladuta on August 13, 1965 and his arrival in Boston, USA on September 17. On your screen right now is a murti of Srila Prabhupada at his birthplace in Toliganj. ISKCON India's Eastern temples have banded together with Chairman Sankarshan Nitai Das to organize events centered around the first part of his journey. Starting in January 2015, they will theme all their temple festivals around Prabhupada's spiritual quest. They will distribute thousands of his books, put up billboards that celebrate his achievements and hold public Harinam at Kolkata locations that were key in his earlier life. They will also organize programs in schools and colleges where they will distribute literature on Prabhupada's life and ISKCON's history. Then give the students quizzes on what they have read. The celebrations will reach their peak in August when hundreds of devotees will embark on a walking pilgrimage retracing Prabhupada's spiritual journey from Sri Mayapur Dham to Kolkata's Kidirpur Dock. The pilgrimage will begin on August 8th in Mayapur with devotees visiting the shrine of Prabhupada's Guru Srila Bhakti Siddhant Saraswati where Prabhupada prayed before leaving for the US. On August 12th it will reach Kolkata where it will stop at several important places in Prabhupada's life. These will include the Radha Madan Mohan temple his father Gaur Mohan Day used to visit when Prabhupada was a small boy. Govinda Bhavan where Prabhupada stayed with his father, mother, sister and Scottish Church College where he received his education as a young man. And this is an image of Kolkata's Kidirpur Dock where Srila Prabhupada boarded the Jaladuta for the US. Four major programs would follow on the August 13th. Various political leaders, government officials and disciples will attend an event at Kidirpur Dock where Prabhupada boarded the Jaladuta on the same day back in 1965. On the 14th, ISKCON leaders and key donors will attend a program at Ravindra Sarovar Auditorium near Srila Prabhupada's birthplace in the Kolkata suburb of Toliganj which ISKCON purchased in spring 2013. On the 15th of a festival for youths all over India will be held at the prestigious Science City Auditorium. And finally, on, the, on August the 16th, a grand satsang program will take place at Netaji Indoor Stadium, which organizers hope will be attended by 20,000 people, including spiritual and political leaders, Namahatta congregational members and ISKCON leaders from all over Eastern India. Each of these four programs will feature talks about Srila Prabhupada's achievements in bringing Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's message of Krishna consciousness to the western shores, along with Kirtan, Bhajan, Deity Worship, Odyssey and Bharatnatyam dance and a short film on Prabhupada in Kolkata. The Kolkata events would be followed by a program organized by Bhakti Vinod Swami in Cochin, South India, the last Indian port where the Jaladuta stopped at to load Srila Prabhupada's books before heading off to the US. Celebrations will continue to follow Prabhupada's path when devotees in Boston who have always commemorated the ISKCON founder's arrival at Commonwealth Pyre will organize their biggest event yet on September the 17th in honor of the day when he arrived at the age of 69 with just seven dollars and a box of books. After that, GBC Bhakti Marga Swami 
famous for his cross-country walks in Canada, will walk from Boston to Butler, Pennsylvania, where Prabhupada stayed with Gopal and Sally Agrawal, and then on to New York, where, of course, Prabhupada registered ISKCON. All this is expected to drum up suitable excitement for ISKCON's 50th anniversary in 2016, when devotees and communities all over the world will be planning 50th anniversary events in their own locations. Ananga Mohandas, Communications Director for Eastern India, events can't wait. There is a great sense of unity amongst devotees in these celebrations and in letting the world know what Srila Prabhupada achieved, he says. This summarizes the events that lead to Prabhupada's 50th anniversary celebrations. For more news, stay tuned to Hare Krishna News. Hare Krishna.